now for the video that I have been waiting all year to make. These are my worst five books of 2015. Now last year I had done this video and it was worst seven of 2014. This year I feel like I've been picking a good number of books. I've been enjoying a lot of the books that I've been reading, but when I didn't like a book, I really didn't like a book. These books were just weren't up to par to what I thought or what I wanted in the book. Book number five was the first volume of The Wicked and the Divine, The Faust Act. I have to admit that this graphic novel series is one of the prettiest and most well-executed illustration-wise, but I think the plot and everything in the first volume alone was just so chaotic and crazy. I didn't really know what was happening, and at the end of the volume I just didn't want to continue because Everything that happened in the first volume I didn't understand, I didn't get it, maybe it was the mindset that I was in, but I just didn't understand what the story was trying to get me to understand. I decided to DNF the entire series and I will not be continuing with it, but I do think it is one of the most beautiful illustrated graphic novels around. Book number four is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Now, looking back at my Goodreads review, I had rated this three stars, but after thinking about it for a while, I've decided to lower it to two stars because I think there were a lot of problems with the book that I found. I think the overall relationship of our two female characters was abysmal, and I just don't understand why they would be considered best friends when this relationship is all about her not knowing that her friend was going to leave and it's this kind of like mystery sort of of her kind of completing these tasks to find out what happened with Sloane. It just seems like these two don't really know each other at all. It feels very disconnected and our main character, who I don't remember the name of, she's so boring. And I'm completely over kind of this trope of girl kind of finds her footing throughout the summer by doing these tasks and like gets the guy in the end, spoilers, but not really, you knew it was gonna happen. It was fun and it was enjoyable, but I just don't think that if you were trying to push sort of this best friend aspect of the book, that it should have been executed a little bit better. I also have a full review of Since You've Been Gone if you are interested. I think what's interesting is that Since You've Been Gone has actually stayed with me because I'm so kind of angry that this kind of like best friend sort of dynamic was just kind of brushed aside for this girl to find herself and get the guy. Book number three is Ashes to Ashes, the final installment of the Burn for Burn trilogy. I'm not going to spoil anything because this is the third book in a series, but I just felt I was let down. This book I thought was was interesting and it was engaging and I was really excited to get the second book. Second book I think was kind of like the peak, the climax, and this third book was just fan service in a way. There was a lot of appeasement of that in the end and I felt like the overall ending to it just didn't make sense with what the characters had done throughout the last two books and even the third book. So I feel like the ending and sort of the epilogue of the series just kind of just brought it down even further than it was going. I've done a complete overall series review of the Burn for Burn trilogy if you're interested and I talk a little bit more about the spoilery aspects of it as well so if you've read the series totally check that out. Book number three is actually a book that a lot of people essentially love and just blew my mind at how much I didn't like it. Me, Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I feel like the narrator was just all kinds of craziness in a way that I didn't want to be in his head. He was very immature in a lot of ways and while you know we're all immature to a point I just think that reading from the point of view from his sort of like immaturityness and like him with his friend Earl was just too much for me. I think he had no emotional attachment to this girl who was essentially dying like even if you don't know someone, you kind of empathize with them and I just feel like he didn't have any sympathy towards her and I just couldn't get over that. My number one for the worst book that I read in 2015 is obviously Ignite by Lily Paradis. This book was all kinds of horrible writing. Characters who are supposedly 21 but act like they're 15 and all kinds of 
how in the world would this even be possible to exist? I think the one thing that really cemented me on not liking this book was the fact that parents, a mom and a dad, decided that it would be better suited for their three children who are between the ages of 16 and about five would best be in the care of a 21 year old who hasn't graduated college, who doesn't know how to raise kids, who doesn't even have a stable income would be better suited to raise them for their entire lives than, you know, maybe the uncle or the aunt who are financially stable, who are together, who have a house that I just couldn't overlook in this novel. And that's not even the main premise. The main premise is that she meets this sort of mysterious man, next door neighbor to these kids and they know him and they interact with him and they're like friends so she's like oh my god he's the best it doesn't make any sense the writing is terrible i have made a full review of this i include spoilers i include everything about everything that i hate about this book so if you want to see that you should definitely do it because it's one of my favorite videos i've ever filmed and those were the worst five of 2015 I love doing these videos. I love just talking about why I don't like a book because there's so much passion in kind of like the most disappointing books you've read. If you've done one of these types of videos, totally link me your video down below because I want to see them. Let me know if you've read Ignite and if you liked it because maybe we should talk about it. Maybe you should tell me why you liked it. Alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!